Hello there and welcome to day two of Channel 4's coverage of the European Wheelchair Basketball Championships here in Israel. Britain's women's side are just about to get their must-win game against the French underway, so let's get right into the action. British coach Gary Pill is a notoriously hard man to please and against the French, he would not have been happy with his team's defending in the first half. But one thing you can say about the GB women is that their heads never go down and in the early stages they match the French point for point. Number 8, Laurie Williams, was at the heart of Britain's best moves and ended the match with the most assists, five in all. In the 2009 European Championships, Britain's women won the bronze medal and since then have climbed up the world rankings. They began this tournament ranked sixth and were looking in great form against the French. Number seven, Helen Freeman, was also in good form and ended up as the game's top scorer with 14 points. The French challenge was fast fading. A win for Britain would guarantee their progress to the semi-finals. Going into half-time against the French, coach Gary Pill was a happy man. Well, the game's effectively won now, but how do you keep them motivated for the second half? Well, we're not, we're not changing the game plan. Whoever goes on the floor sticks to the game, game plan. If they don't do it, they'll come off. Simple as that. And also I noticed that you mixed up the lineups a little bit as well. Was that just to give some of the girls a run out or try different lineups? What's the thinking behind trying out different yeah, girls yeah, today? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying different lineups. Plus, I know I've got an hour game tomorrow morning against the Dutch, so yeah, the whole bench will probably play now. An amazing first half performance there from the GB women's team, who lead 38 points to 10. Let's see if they can continue that performance into the second half. Team GB always have an abundance of support, and even in Israel, the parents of the girls were following their team with pride. I travel to most of the tournaments, been to Sydney, Athens, Beijing, so it's a good holiday. I bet, I bet. And what do you think our chances next year, or the girls' chance, should I say, next year, of meddling at the Paralympics? I think they uh, stand a very good chance of being in the medals. Which colour? will uh, depend on how well they play on the day. So how do you think the girls are doing so far here in the Euros? They're doing really well. I've, this is the first match I've watched because we only arrived yesterday, but it's, they're looking good. I'm really pleased. And Louise, how well is she doing today? Um, she's uh, picked up a few injuries from today's match. It's been quite tough, but she's consistently playing well, I think, overall. And how proud does it make you feel being the mother of a, you know, an athlete in the team? Well, I was just saying to my friends here that I've watched these girls grow from juniors into this team of uh, world-class athletes and uh, it really does make you feel very proud as a, as a mother to come to Israel to watch my daughter play and they play so well together as a fabulous team. It, it's great for us too. <laughs> Family and friends of the British girls could celebrate another victory on Tuesday. They ran out comfortable winners against France, 58-31. Well, we knew the French are going to come out quite aggressively because um, they wanted this game. This game's important for them, so we just thought we'd go all out and do everything it takes to beat them. Yeah, I think uh, the Dutch team have probably watched that video and they realise we come aggressive now and very hard at the beginning of the game, so they've got to be ready for that. We're still practicing this afternoon and we're going to go over the way we're going to play the Dutch. It's going to be slightly different, but with the same intensity. I think um, all the competitions that we've had this year with the winning the BT Paralympic World Cup and um, do well here, um, I think it's all heading in the right direction and it shows that we're definitely improving, especially with a, such a young team. So with GB's women's team comfortably through to the semi-finals, we're just waiting now for the arrival of the last few supporters in anticipation for GB's men's game against Switzerland. So let's get right into it. With the 
Bulldogs already assured a place in the quarterfinal in Israel, coach Murray Trezeder opted to ring the changes in their final group match against Switzerland. GB got off to a great start and by the end of the first quarter had raced into a 22-10 lead. Switzerland had lost all four of their previous matches in Israel, so only had pride to play for against Britain. But that was enough to spur them on to score some impressive baskets. Britain continued to pile on the points and went into half-time with a 38-20 lead. Coach Trezeder is also a hard taskmaster and he wasn't looking overly impressed with his team's efforts. Yeah. 76-43 was the final score. You would think the British players and coach would be happy with that, but as the number one ranked team in Europe, their standards are extremely high. Good job, guys. Good job. Yeah, we were a bit sloppy to be honest. Uh, did defend very well and offence wasn't brilliant, but uh, we've got to improve for the next game of the final. The competition stand between the best 10 teams, it's so even, um, as seen by the results. So I don't think uh, any team has gone undefeated so far. Um, we finished the four and one record and third in our pool. So it, it's tough and every game's a real battle, which is how it should be. That's what the game's about. So another great day there for GB's men's and women's teams for both successfully into the knockout phases of the European Wheelchair Basketball Championships. If you want to follow their progress, you can do so on channel4.com. Until then, we'll see you tomorrow.